Today's video is sponsored by Pouch. I have no idea what I'm going to call this video. Stealth camping, wild camping, van life. Who bloody knows and who cares? Oh God almighty. Christ. Stay donkey. Come on boys. I'll come make you a chicken fajita. God, they're actually coming to the van crossed. Hold on a second. This is bloody brilliant. Forget Planet of the Apes, Planet of the Donkeys. <laughs> What a bloody park up this is. And what an absolutely beautiful, beautiful part of the UK I'm in at the moment. So those of you who are from the south of the UK, you may recognize where I am. I'm in a lovely place called the New Forest. As you can see probably already, this place is famous for, I suppose you could say, a lot of the nature and the countryside that it has around here. And most importantly, wild horses, wild donkeys, you name it. There's just wild horses roaming the streets, roaming the roads around here. So I've been down in the New Forest for the last week, seeing some family friends, helping them set up for a wedding. The best wedding ever. A massive congratulations to Amy and Sam. Lots of love, absolutely insane day. And I thought I can't leave without making a video and showing you guys the incredible place that the New Forest is. If you're wondering why they've got these sort of collars on, two of them do anyway, this black one and this kind of beige brown one doesn't. That's because at night, when the cars are driving, the collar will reflect the light. So you can actually see there's a horse in the middle of the road because there's been many a time when I'm driving down here where I thought, Christ almighty, I'm gonna hit a horse. Right, we're gonna head to a local town called Limington, go to Waitrose and pick up some food to cook tonight because we are gonna be staying somewhere. I'm just unsure at this current moment in time. I finally feel like I'm in a location where the van belongs. I'm not in Tesco car park. I'm not in Ikea car park. I'm not at a dogging spot. I'm gonna go and grab some food to cook tonight and there's no surprise at what I'm gonna be cooking. Waitrose, let me tell you, I rarely shop there and it cost an absolute fortune. On that note of talking about money, I've got to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Pouch. And now this is something I genuinely use every single time that I'm shopping online on my computer or my laptop. Especially during this van build process, Pouch has been extremely helpful because this van build is costing me an arm and a leg and any amount of money that you can save does go a long way. So what Pouch is, is a free desktop browser extension. Let me reiterate that, it is completely free, 100%, no sign up fee. Basically how it works is when you're doing a bit of shopping online, you're picking this, you're picking that, you're adding things into your basket, you then go to checkout, Pouch will automatically pop up offering you the best discount codes available at that time. The discounts then obviously get applied and then you save yourself some money and also a lot of time. As you can see there, I managed to save myself 30 pounds 15, bringing the cost down to 36 pounds 84. It couldn't be any easier to install literally within a few seconds you can download it pin it to the top of your web browser and then you'll be up and running ready to go you can use it on over 3,000 websites so there's a wide variety of sites to try it on 
If you want to give it a go and try it out yourself, then head over to the link in the description and let me know in the comments when you've used it, how much money you've managed to save. So we're going to try and head to a place now called Hatchet Pond, which I have been to before. I stayed there in the galaxy, but it's a really lovely spot. I want to see if I can get away with it in the van because there are signs there, well, to be honest, all around the New Forest, which say no parking overnight. Can you see why I've chosen this spot? I stayed in this exact, exact space where I am right now in the galaxy about a year ago. And it's crazy. A year ago I had a car, which I had no idea where this channel was gonna go. And now I've got a van and I still have no idea where this channel is gonna go. <sighs> Just a moment of reflection, really. It's weird how fast and how quickly things can change. For some reason, they've cut down all these hedges that were here last time. No idea why, maybe it's, I don't know, something to do with the fire or for the horses. But as you can see, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely spot. Last time I was here, there was a couple of swans here, which I'm sure are still knocking around somewhere. Also, last time I was here, when you drive in, there was a sign, and I thought there was a sign anyway, saying no overnight parking, but I couldn't see one this time, so. Who knows, maybe they've changed the rules, but I very much doubt it. So, as always, let me show you the setup because it has slightly changed and this is by far the most amount of stuff that I've had in the van at one time, so far anyway. Okay, so I've got the table set up, so I've got my kind of kitchen area here. I've now purchased myself a double mattress and it fits lovely happy days tonight fingers crossed touch wood i'm actually gonna get a good night's sleep because i've honestly cannot remember the last time i had a good sleep in any vehicle whether it was the galaxy or this and then underneath like last time i've got all my pots my pans um i've got food i've got water i've got the jackery which is charging up my drone batteries I've got the solar panel which will charge the jackery when it runs out and I've got my deck chair.
Cheers to probably the most peaceful, tranquil evening of my life. Not only is this fajita incredible, <laughs> but so is this. I can't believe it. I'm sat eating this. I've got swans over there. I can see green trees, green grass, green bushes, a blue sky, sun. All I need to top this off is a nice blonde Swedish girl with a big bum. You didn't think I was going to get too hippie on you, did you? What a bloody view. What a view. It's only about 8.30 now. Obviously I've had dinner, I've cleaned up. I'm all organized, made my bed. So I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening just doing some laptop work, chilling out. I've got no phone signal here, which is great. Just means I can get away from social media, YouTube, Instagram. Cause it's nice to do things like this, just to freshen up the mind. And I have to say, it's so good to be out of London and out into nature. So I realized I forgot my main light, so excuse the poor lighting, but I'm ready for bed now. I'm just gonna put these curtains up, put the cover up across the middle, and then head off into bed. For once, I have to say, I'm actually looking forward to getting into bed, and it's gonna be my first time with a double mattress which won't make a massive difference i just hope it's peaceful and quiet i didn't realize actually there's a massive big motorhome parked right behind me i'll try and show you guys in the morning it's too dark now literally completely pitch black outside but what an amazing evening and exactly what i wanted from having a van like this and having a bit more space to move around to cook I'm excited to uh, to put some cupboards up and in some storage units just so I can kind of pack everything away and make everything a bit tidier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's comfortable. For anybody interested, I got the IKEA uh, 179 pound double mattress made with memory foam just because I like a fairly hard bed. Right, I'm definitely waffling on, so I'm gonna uh, say goodnight and I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm excited to wake up finally somewhere out in the sticks in nature with a bit of greenery surrounding me. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I get a good night's sleep.
Morning. By far the best sleep I've ever had in any vehicle, ever. I've slept until about nine o'clock. I've got a fisherman behind me, obviously doing some fishing. It was quiet, it was peaceful. I had the fan on this morning, just to get a bit of nice cold air in, because it started to get a little bit warm in here. But oh, waking up in a place like this, surrounded by all this greenery and nature, I know I keep saying it, but this is what I wanted from this fan. And I'm feeling very happy right now. Just spotted some donkeys. How random is that? Wake up and there's just donkeys walking around. Jesus. He's heading straight for me. Christ almighty. Oh God. Oh God almighty. Christ. Stay donkey. Stay. Oh God. Oh God, he wants the food. Christ, hold on. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I'm out of food, I'm out of food. Hey, 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 hey. Nothing, nothing. Oh, Christ almighty. <laughs> They're pretty friendly, these donkeys. Admittedly, I shouldn't have fed it or chucked my pan of chocolate, but I panicked. Okay, I panicked. Hello mate, look at your little baby. <laughs> oh, I've never stroked a donkey before. What the hell is this? Christ, there's more of them. They're all coming, they all want some pan of chocolate. Hello mate. How are we this morning, my friend? Sorry, I've got no food. You can smell the chocolate, can't you? All the boys are coming. Oh God, actually, I better uh, shut my van up because I've got more pan of chocolate and banana in there. Come on, boys. I'll come make you a chicken fajita. Let's go. Extra cheese. Fajitas are on me. God, they're actually coming to the van crossed. Hold on a second. Oh my god, god almighty, they're walking fast. Hey, 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 stay there. Ish, 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 ish. Oh, get out. Come on, my friends, ice cream. <laughs> oh god, this is bloody brilliant. Okay, away, peasant. Away, peasant. Away, please. Oh, that's my finger, mate. Jesus. I just took my finger off. It's Attack of the Donkeys this morning. Forget Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Donkeys. <laughs> hey. I think these are donkeys. Yeah, they must be. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I know you want more banana, don't you? <laughs> well, I gotta be careful on the tripod. Well, turns out, if you feed a donkey, they don't leave. Get, 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 get. Oh way, oh way, oh way, boys, oh way, boys, oh way. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing, boys. Whoa, whoa. I'm out of food. Nothing. So much for enjoying my breakfast in peace. Oh, 
Oh Christ almighty, excuse me. Right, time to put a t-shirt on, otherwise people around here are gonna think I'm Mowgli. Our furry friends have left, and on that bombshell, I'm also gonna be leaving. What a bloody day, what a bloody evening. Unbelievable. This is now just giving me a bit of inspiration and motivation to get out there into more places like this in the van. I was gonna get straight back into the van build, but I'm really not sure at the moment. I've just really enjoyed last night and this morning and all this craziness. Oh, it was good fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel because plenty more randomness like this video. Let me know what other videos and other things that you want to see on this channel because I'm an open book at the moment. I'm winging it. I've got the van build going on. I can go out in the van like this. I can go exploring. And of course, I want to bring you guys on as many adventures with me as I can. Thanks so much for watching again. Make sure to check out Pouch, link in the description. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. See you boys. See ya!